Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about my TBR for the Magical Readathon 2019 Owls edition. If you have not heard about this readathon, you are missing out. It is a Harry Potter themed readathon. This is going to be my first year participating because I heard about it last year when newts were happening and I wanted to wait so I could compete in the full year. I will link the Owls 2019 readathon video down below. It's hosted by G from Book Roast. She goes into a lot of explanations because there's, there's a lot of moving parts for this, but that just makes it all the more amazing because because she's come up with this entire thing on her own, how it works. Now with Owls, you can just read one book per prompt. You don't have to do anything crazy. So she had made a list of all the prompts and I was marking down which books on my TBR would fit those because I'm trying to read physical books that I've had on my shelf for a while. And if you want to challenge yourself and you don't just want to read books for each of the prompts, you can actually pick a wizarding career. And she created this entire wizarding career guidebook, which is just amazing. And I went through and I narrowed it down to my top uh, couple choices and I basically was trying to find something that had a reasonable amount of books and was a career that I was interested in. And I actually settled on Ministry Worker, which is not something I feel like a lot of people are probably going to pick, but it had five prompts and there's also a potential for when the newts come around to sort of uh, push yourself and go into specific departments in the ministry and get extra newts and become like somebody that works in the Department of International Magical Cooperation, something like that. So I thought that might be fun because it gives me a little bit of choice down the road without overwhelming me now. The other thing that's awesome about this challenge, not only is it Harry Potter themed and will it be taking place over the month of April, but I'm actually going to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in April. So I will be participating in this readathon and also be physically in Universal Orlando's Wizarding World. So that's going to be really great. It's going to be like a month of Harry Potter just kind of all around me, which, you know, I'm not complaining. Before I talk about the five books that I'm going to be reading during the month, I want to just reiterate what the particular owls are for the ministry worker position. So there's charms, defense against the dark arts, history of magic, potions, and transfiguration. So charms, the specific charm is the age line, and that is read an adult work. And for that, I chose A Short History of Women by Kate Walbert. This is a short book, which is key for the readathon, key to success. And this follows a, a line of women beginning at the turn of the 20th century up until the turn of the 21st century. And it follows all of these women who are somehow related to each other and how the choices of someone from an earlier generation might affect the choices of a later generation. I've never heard anybody talk about this book before. It was something I think I picked it up at Book Outlet. I just kind of seemed interesting to me, and it was on the 10 best books of 2009 for the New York Times, so a lot of people liked it apparently. This is definitely a book written for adults, but I don't think it's going to take me too long to read due to the length, which makes me happy. For Defense Against the Dark Arts, the spell is Reducto, and that is a title that starts with the letter R. This one worked out really well for me. I got to pick Rebel Spring by Morgan Rhodes. This is the second book in the Fallen Kingdoms series. I read the first book, Fallen Kingdoms, earlier in March during the Femme Fantale readathon, and I really liked it, and I wanted to keep reading the series, but I didn't want to delve into it so deeply and then kind of leave it alone for all of April because I was trying to focus on other things. But luckily, this worked out well. Rebel Spring is the only book I had on my TBR shelf of 80 something books that actually started with the letter R. Can't give too much of a synopsis of this because it is the second book in a series, but this takes place in the magical world of Mythica. There's a number of main characters that are all in their uh, late teenage years that come from three different kingdoms. The first book did kind of end on a cliffhanger, so I'm excited to be able to pick up this book during the readathon. The third prompt, History of Magic, that is to read a book that was published at least 10 years ago, which wasn't too much of an issue for me. I do have a, uh, a few older books on there. I decided to go with Bill Bryson's The Lost Continent Travels in Small Town America. I feel like I've been 
itching to read this book and I definitely put it on a TBR list maybe for nonfiction November and just didn't get around to it but this one was published in 1989 and many of you will know Bill Bryson he writes very good nonfiction books. This one is about him coming back to the United States after 10 years of living in Britain and sort of his impressions and literally driving around like going on a road trip through the US and although it was published in 1989 and some things might feel outdated I, I still uh, think I'll enjoy the sort of flavor that his books have. His sense of humor can sometimes be kind of mean and a little too much I think but I'm hoping that I enjoy this one and get to kind of get a little insight into different places in small town America. Fourth is Potions and the prompt for that is Next Ingredient which is a book that is a sequel and this also worked out well. I've been looking forward to reading Gemina which is the second book in the Illuminae Files trilogy uh, for a bit now. I picked it up around Christmas time and it has been calling to me on my shelf and this one is thick. It's very big but it's one of those books that's got a lot of fun stuff in it. It's not written like a traditional novel so I'll be able to speed through it um, pretty quickly. Because this is a sequel I can only say so much about it but this does follow different characters than Illuminae but the characters that we follow in this book meet up with characters in Illuminae. Basically what happened in the first one was this corporation decided to blow up a planet and our main characters were some of the survivors from that planet and the company didn't want any survivors because they didn't want anybody else to know that it had happened but the survivors obviously want to tell the rest of the world so it's about trying to get away from the company and spread that word amongst other things. There is rogue AI, there was uh, a disease that was being spread so there was a lot of stuff going on. It was very intense, lots of people die <laughs> but I appreciate that. I appreciate some gritty young adult books. So this I imagine will be probably pretty gritty as well but we'll just get introduced to some new characters and some new problems. Lastly we have Transfiguration and the prompt for that is sprayed edges or a red cover. I do have a few books that have the sprayed edges so I decided to go with An Artist of the Floating World by Kazuo Ishiguro. This is one of the Penguin Drop Caps books and as you can maybe see the color changes on the spine here that's because the sun hit it. It's been on my TBR shelf for long enough that the sun actually faded the spine. So oopsies. Uh, but I have been holding on to this book for a few years and the edges are green on this one so it fits this prompt. And I also kind of associate green with transfiguration in my head maybe because McGonagall wears a lot of green in the movies. I don't know. But uh, this one, I don't know too much about it. The, there isn't really a synopsis anywhere just because it's a special edition of the book, but I do know that it takes place in Japan shortly after World War II and it is about a painter and he is reflecting on his life, uh, his family, and then also what the war has done to Japan. This is also not a very long book. I think it barely goes over 200 pages, so I think it's once again pretty perfect for a readathon. I'm a little nervous about it just because I've never heard anybody talk about it so I'm hoping I do like it but because it's short I feel like even if I don't love it I'll be able to push through it. I also am a little nervous because I read Never Let Me Go by the same author and I was not a fan of that book. Not a fan. So I'm hoping that this one because it's a completely different subject will be more up my alley. Those are the five books that I am planning to read to earn my five owls so I can be one step closer to my dream job of becoming a ministry worker. If you guys are participating in the Owls 2019 Magical Readathon, please let me know down below. Let me know if you are going to try for a specific job. Let me know which one it is. If you're not going to do a career and you're just going to do the advised revision topics, let me know which ones you're tackling, what books you're planning to read. There's just so much creativity that went into this. It's amazing. I'm very, very excited to participate. As always, all of our links are in the down bar. You can go check those out if you feel so inclined. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you later.